Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Gemini please? Angel Spirits Guides for 1st to the 7th of February 2021. Thank you message for our lovely Geminis that flew out we have the Queen of Coins Gemini card of Capricorn for me as a reader can be your energy or somebody of influence this week okay what do we have for Gemini please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Geminis thank you for the week what does Gemini need to hear? Thank you. Okay. Oh my goodness, Gemini. <laughs> we have the gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. That's pretty beautiful. And we have rainbow blessing. I've got another one. Okay, I've got rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. And we have rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And angels, what is the message for Gemini, please? For the week. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> big happy changes. Okay. Haven't seen that card for a while, actually. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge, Gemini, that you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome, should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so message for Gemini, please. Angel spirits guides. What does Gemini need to hear the most? We have the two of pentacles there, Gemini. Strength card, card of Leo. The moon. Card of Pisces. Okay, that flew out. Two cards there. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords. The strength card is clarified by the page of wands. Ten of wands clarifies the moon and the magician, which is your ruler. Very nice energy. And now we're in Mercury retrograde this week. Um, but I definitely feel that this is a beautiful message for you. So. Okay. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. So it's clarified with the Six of Wands, the card of victory here. Okay, so it feels like this is your energy, Gemini. Um, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles can be a, somebody in your life. Uh, if it's to do with money, career, finances, it can be somebody offering you opportunity. Um, she's a great card of abundance. She's also a nurturing energy, so healing, you know, um, healing, growth focus practical using your practical abilities knowledge know how to bring growth into your life once more and she's a sign of success because she's a queen you know the kings and queens are the ultimate signs of success she's very intuitive as well so maybe making intuitive choices 
uh, intuitively trusting your own practical abilities, know-how to bring growth, to heal. And again, the six of, of wands, it feels like some kind of, I mean, this can be a card of recognition. So certainly somebody might be giving you some recognition, which is allowing you to claim some kind of victory. Um, this can be a significant achievement as well. So it feels, Gemini, quite powerfully. It feels more like somebody is influential. I mean, this is either you by your own energy bringing some significant achievement in your life, or there is somebody of influence who is part of you. The Six of Wands is somebody who overcomes challenge, puts it behind them and has discovered what they're made of you know they claim their victory they claim their success a significant achievement um and restore equilibrium in their life you know by the action and energy that they put into something now uh the ones is all about action potential growth um, drive all of this kind of thing so it's needed a lot of all those things to claim this kind of victory and here it is can be a card of getting noticed getting recognized public recognition it could be to do with some kind of opportunity here somebody of influence so it definitely feels for some of you these cards are bringing positive big happy changes into your life and we have the rainbow of blessings, very, very beautiful energy, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. So it definitely feels what this victory is allowing you to do is put a difficult situation behind you because you're ready to step through the new gates, the new door, the new opportunity, the new path, call it what you will, whatever this growth is all about that this queen of coins is bringing into you. Um, yeah, this is, this is resourceful, being resourceful, using your resources, or it can be an energy of somebody who is influencing, bringing a victory to your life. So it feels very beautiful. And it comes when we have the two of pentacles i mean this can be a card of challenge it can be a card of um the needing to prioritize can be a card of there's a lot on your plate at the moment and you're struggling to get things back into balance but this person even though they do a lot you know they're juggling and dancing at the same time it's well within your capability to deal with even though it feels like it's overwhelming throwing you off balance you're you're doing <laughs> there's an energy here you're doing a really good job you know this person isn't dropping anything and um, so it definitely feels in this energy uh, there's a lot going on it can be a card of feeling a bit overwhelmed here because I also have it with the stress card. The card of stress, anxiety, worry, being in your own head. You have a reason to feel like this. Something has caused you to feel anxious, worry, upset. I mean, it could also be to do with juggling money. You know, this can be a card of juggling money. And the Nine of Swords is the need to get perspective. When the Nine of Swords appears, it's a, it's a card of how the mind, the sword is linked with the mind, how we perceive something, our, our anxiety, our worry, um, fear, you know, all of this kind of thing, how the mind can really magnify things, distort reality, if we're not careful. So there's definitely this kind of energy of needing to get clear It's interesting because in, in the challenge position, this can be about releasing. Something has been overwhelming. And it definitely feels like, I mean, this can sometimes feel like, wow, you know, I just don't even know where to start in dealing with this situation, you know, certainly in the challenge position. But it feels in this situation, there is a new beginning presenting, being presented to you here. The cup of joy is coming your way. 
big happy changes are coming and that's what the universe is telling you because it's being offered to you by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. So, I mean, the cup of joy can be new love, it can be to do with um, new bonds, pets, friends, uh, it can also be new opportunities that bring you joy as well. Um, and the Nine of Swords is a card of stress, anxiety, worry. I just don't see it coming. I don't know how I'm going to get myself out of this. I'm definitely feeling this kind of energy here. There's a reason for you to feel the Nine of Swords. It's based on a fact. But there's a message that the opportunity is coming your way. Whatever this Ace of Cups represents to you. So Spirit is telling you to be strong. Stay strong. And again, this is a card of master your own head as well. You know, master those, master those thought patterns too. Um, a strength card is a card of facing, it is a card of facing your fears, facing your challenges. It, it is a card of standing up, the resoluteness in your power, facing it head on and allowing yourself to overcome it by being in your power. It is having the strength and courage to do that because it's an eight, an eight, eight's a card of mastery and change. And we have this with the page of ones, which is good news. And it feels to do with some kind of opportunities coming your way. Yeah, I'm definitely getting out of both of these cards. And again, the pages, the messengers, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So both of these cards are talking about new, new doors opening. And we get that with the gates of triumph because we have triumph here. You will triumph. Whatever is overwhelming you, whatever is feeling, wow, this feels so much bigger than what I can deal with, it's not in reality. It's just what your head is telling you um, in this reading. And there is a need to try and keep your own head in this instance, because for some of you there is opportunity, good news regarding an opportunity coming your way. So, yeah, the hard work hasn't gone in vain, even though you really don't know where it's going, even though you don't have any clarity of how this is going to work out for you. I don't know what's going to happen. I've been working so hard. I've been grappling with this, you know, for so long. This is built up over a period of time here with the Ten of Wands. And I'm definitely feeling I just don't really know how things are going to pan out. Well, the message with the Queen of Coins. And again, this can be somebody coming into your life, offering you something. As an energy, she is focus, patience, determination, methodical energy. Stay on path, stay on the right track. Just keep moving forward with a single-minded direction and you will be victorious. Yeah, there will be a significant achievement coming your way. So the magician is, the magician is a card of new beginnings. Uh, and it's manifested by you, even though you don't see it. By tapping into your own resourcefulness, capability, um, power, determination, mental acuity here, you have the power to bring transformation to your situation. And this is your ruler, you know, this is your ruler, Gemini. So it feels in this energy, you have the opportunity to manifest this new path. Even though you don't see it, even though you've been putting so much effort and energy towards it, the opera stay strong, keep your head, the opportunity is coming. The message or the good news is coming as well. Could be some good news. That is the victory. It can be to do with opportunity. It's not limited to that. But it is to do with what you've been manifesting. There will be positive change. I mean, the magician understands how to change something negative to something positive. And in this case, this is your way of changing something that was challenging to deal with to something that is a victory, a significant achievement. And therefore we have B 
big happy changes coming your way and it's by your action and intention you know this is focused intention focused it's the single-minded focus don't let your mind wander it is you need to focus on the goal because it's coming your way and it's beautiful ace of cups is absolutely beautiful very nice energy gemini indeed very very beautiful so i'm going to pull a final message yeah <laughs> we've got abundance so prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks oh my goodness mental blocks nine of wands nine of swords i should say um mental blocks yeah release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land there's enough abundance for everybody and you can see this person they're being showered with abundance uh bounty fulfillment um enrichment you know it's absolutely beautiful so definitely i mean this could be a material thing for some of you abundance coming your way could be in the form of some kind of change in terms of your financial or career or business circumstances coming through what has been a very tricky test in time yeah and i will say also this is i mean it can be a kind of lack of clarity but in where you don't see the big picture the universe does and it is giving you hidden blessings so this definitely ties into yeah it will all become clear you know you will allow yourself to clear the past and heal the present by your actions and success will expand into your life you will be triumphant i love the reading gemini so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you gemini and i will see you next time thank you